guy's seat, his friend, the main guy himself, the one that used to look at me, he was no longer there, he had left. So I went to meet his friend and I said, sorry, please excuse me, I would like to see you outside. So I already kept my phone on, phone recording, to record the conversation. So he stood up and he followed me like out of that particular place we were. My friend just stayed in me. So guys, and I found my door. Remember I was recording you. And I said, is there a problem? The guy now said, he doesn't understand that. What do I mean by, by is there a problem? But you and your friend, both of you have been staring at me. And I just feel if there's a problem, I'm here now, so I'm listening. What is the problem? You don't understand what I'm saying. Of course you do. And it did not just start. It started last semester. Both of you are always staring at me. What is like I was I mean who can saying it too? I was like so angry and like so blunt while I was talking to him. He does not understand what I'm saying. Like, if I have a problem with his friend, I should go and meet his friend, not him. That was his own in the matter. So where's your friend that you can call him? And I say he does not know that me I should go and be looking for his friend. That was not even got me peace that me I should go and be looking for his friend. Okay. But I just want to let you guys know. That I'm aware of everything you guys have been doing. And if anything should happen, if anything should happen, that was what I that was the last thing I said. So I now walked away from him. Guys, now I'm out. I know get now only God I get like, driving on campus. <laughs> now it was just God. I was just but I just wanted to let him feel some kind of insecure also, like maybe I already had plans or I maybe contacted people or something. Nobody. So I went downstairs, I left because I was leaving. My friends were, I think I had some of my friends there, everybody was waiting for me. But they were not like that, I, I should not leave like that, I should report to the um, librarians downstairs. Librarians, old men and women. Who's on the last saying that, ah, I should go to Alpha Base, Alpha Base is the school security. I'm going and go uh, and write statements and narrate the story to them. That that's how we will say it's nothing now. Tomorrow something will happen. That's how they kidnap one day. That's how they rape one day. That's how, those of us are giving me instances of things that have happened on campus. Like, I was not more scared, like, see and everything. I shall wait there downstairs. Shall. I was waiting for his friend to come. I said, his friend left. And he should we shall pass here and come inside the library. I waited, I waited. The, his, the other guy, the one I left us that I confronted, now came downstairs. He will go inside or he will go to a corner. He will take his phone. He will talk to that one. I'm sure we were, maybe we were telling that one that don't come here, that the girls still there around, thinking maybe I've already called boys to come around or something. If I knew, maybe I would have called my class boys. So. No, those ones later, later heard about the gist. I didn't go for my tutorial again because I was really, really angry and I just wanted to see the end. I just wanted to see the guy. Like, I was ready to just face him and be like, if I had to hold the shit, I was ready to just hold it and be like, guy, what is the problem? Or something like, I was just angry that day. After waiting for almost an hour, I told my friend that, uh, okay, let's be going to the hostel, Sham. I was really very, uh, I was just very tired. Like, it was, it was really, how I put it? The tension, the stress, the anxiety, everything. I had an exam the following day, my last paper for that matter. I took it off of my mind and I tried, like, I tried reading. I tried to ignore that everything. So, like, I spoke to a couple of my friends that had already finished from me in lag. And someone had told me that I should call, um, give me a contact to call. I called this guy and I read the story to him. The guy now told me that, um, when next am I going to the library? I was like, ah, I finished the exam. That this is my last paper. That is tomorrow. That I'm not going. To, I'm not going to the library. Like I'm done. I'm I'm done with school. Actually, I was done with my exam and all. Oh, okay, then, but next week, since I'm still on campus, can I go to the library and just go with a book and do like I'm reading? When I see the guy, I should call him. I was not thinking about it. That before I would go and create a scene now, and there was nothing. I don't know. I was just feeling so mad that. I've already I've written my last paper. Already, just carry your bag and be leaving you in like you've spent four years already. Don't now let this final year to go and cause issues because at that particular period, in like was any small thing they usually take it up. So I was scared. I didn't want anything that they would now. I don't even I didn't know who it was. So, but one thing that I did was that one of the occasions I was in the library, I saw him greet someone I knew. So I went to trace that girl 
on Instagram, checked all our followers. I check all our, I check followers and following. I check, 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 check. And I found the guy. I saw the guy. And now did a screenshot of it. I still have the screenshot because I saved the pictures on my laptop. So guys, let me know if you want me to show you the guy. Maybe you know him. Let me show you the guy. My friends and I even asked me that, are you going to go to the library and call that guy like he said? I said, no, that. Since you guys said the guy likes me, let me let the matter in. Let me not create a scene out of all this thing and let the matter just end like that and everything so i tried to remove my mind from it but i was just being careful my remaining days on campus i didn't really come out in the night and if i was coming out in the night to go get anything downstairs i was always going to go with a friend or something i did not like i didn't put myself in a position that it would be only me and i would be vulnerable to attacks or anything so that's what i later did so, <laughs> so that was not all though but let me finish my makeup. Okay guys, wow, so I'm done with my makeup and this is what my makeup looks like. This is actually just a simple, um, casual look. Well, I call it a nude look, but it's actually very simple. This is one of the makeup, they said the makeup, no makeup look. So I hope you guys, um, like you were able to like see my steps. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will answer you. If you need to um, know a, a particular product I use also, please ask me. I will answer you. And um, let me know what you think about my look also. So let's finish our gist now. Guys, I thought it was over. I thought that was it. I thought I had conquered. <laughs> so, I was out of school. I know a lot of you are here are saying in your mind, ah, this guy followed you out to an outside school. Okay, so I was out of school share and it was time for NYS, it was time for service. The Dean of Student Affairs asked us to bring, those of us that did diploma, asked us to bring our admission letter to school because they were able to get our numbers or something. I can't remember what the problem it was actually. So I took my letter to school alongside some of my friends and, and I cited this guy again. I don't know if you saw me, but I did, and I, like, you know when you see a face that you know, I just turned and I was like, oh, you again, like, what is this, why are you 
always like following their mother or their mom. I did not, I didn't do anything. Like, there was, I felt there was no need to be worried at this point because I was done with school. It's not like I was going to sleep in school that day, but there was no need to be worried or anything. So I just did what I had to do at the um, dean's office and I left school. So that's the end of my story, guys. But then it was actually very scary. It was, ah, God, those periods like that I saw him in the library and he was always staring at me and everything. I was so, 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 so scared. Like, I was just always scared. I thought something was going to happen. I, I don't know, I was just feeling some kind of insecure. It was, it was really not funny. I know some of you might be laughing at me, like, girl, that guy actually liked it. That's why he did all that. But please, guys, what kind of likeness is that? If that is how you show likeness to a girl, then stop it. That was scary. Ah. It was so scary so let me know what you think and i have a lot of stories like this so if you want us to do more of um, get ready with me videos where i get like just you guys about stuff and experiences i've had please um, don't forget to let me know what you feel in the comment section i have i have a lot of just so thank you guys for coming thank you guys for watching with me thank you for listening to my story i hope you enjoyed yourself and i hope you love my makeup course i do so until my next video guys Thank you and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share.